Hello YouTube. Today I'm just gonna try out some Hearts of Iron. Uh, never really made a Hearts of Iron video before, but um, I just thought I'd try it out. Um, and today we're gonna be showing you guys how to do the Portugal and Brazilian reunification. I'll start that. I'm just gonna start it on regular right now. Uh, if you guys are interested in me doing veteran or whatever, uh, just let me know and I'll, I'll see how. You know, I'll see how things go with this video, and we'll go from there. Um, so, I can usually get um, the reuni reunification of Portugal and Brazil by at least 1939, if not earlier. Um, I usually largely ignore Spain for the most part, unless there's something interesting going on, like it's, uh, the Cartlets are winning, or... Um, but for the most part, it's um, usually the Nationals winning or Republic. So I usually completely ignore Spain for the most part, and uh, that's mainly what you should be doing. Because even by 1939, I, I wouldn't have a big enough army to invade them anyways. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, so I always do the monarchy path right away right as early as I can because um, or else it really screws up your game because you wouldn't be able to you know do the ending with the rest restoration of the monarchy because you do need a 40% stability and with an unstable government your stability just goes down every single week so I do that right away before anything else um, just so I don't get a civil war when I do turn monarchy. But anyways, uh, the beginning is pretty boring. Because basically for the next three years or so, I'll be building up my um, industry. And uh, I don't worry about creating troops until uh, about a year or so, because you really don't have to worry about that. And I, I do not build any war factories until after I, you know, you know, fire off Brazil, just because uh, Portugal actually doesn't really have that many, like, have that much manpower, so there's really no point. Yeah. By the time you take over Brazil, you have more than enough manpower and supplies built up, and you don't, you don't really need to make war factories. Plus, you can get some from the tech tree, anyways. I'll go ahead and do the royal wedding. Um, usually I do technocrat for the first one. It doesn't matter either way, whatever you want. But uh, I'm, I'll do captain of industry third after I do uh, traditional theorist. Um, it's whatever. You really don't need to even get traditional theorist since you're going to be turning over monarchist anyways. Um, I don't build any boats either just because that will take away from my manpower, so I don't bother building them. Plus, it, I don't have any steel to begin with, and I'll just, which is kind of pointless. And uh, I ha I'm not trading for steel right now because I want to have all nine of my factories here building as much as I can right now. I don't really mess with the uh, decisions yet until later on because I do want to get some more in the political. And then on the on the focus or the the research page, uh, I mostly focus on industrial stuff first and then uh, engineering. Um, later on, I'll go to you know infantry and start that up. It's not really my priority right now to build up an army, I, which I guess is in most cases for nations, uh, unless you plan on going to war really early. But yeah, and uh, I've played many games 
as Portugal, and this is by far the fastest way. I, it used to be a lot easier before these um, updates they've been putting out, but um, it's a lot harder to just blow past Brazil now. And it took me a while to figure out the exact like formula for getting uh, reunification without any problems. Spain should be starting the civil war up pretty soon. Now I've only ever seen the cartless win two or three times, and um, usually they end up declaring war on you right after the Spanish Civil War, which um, doesn't make me like doesn't make me want to help them out, even if they are winning or losing, even because uh, they'd be declaring war on you either way. And a lot of the times, the Axis wins on this. I'm just gonna do machine tools. Um, after restoration of the monarchy, I'll go straight to public works, get that, and then I'll go down um, to the second research, or the this would be the fourth one I would have. Uh, later on, I do this one only because you need 15 um, naval dockyards to get that one, and it just take too long, and then. So, I'm monarchist now, um, continuing the public works. Ooh, nationalist Spain is not looking good. Three front war, or I guess multi like even more than three fronts now. So... Third one, I usually do Captain of Industry just because I'm building factories only. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to build these yet, but I build infrastructure down here because I will go down the tech tree and get the, the extra steel and um, aluminum from my African colonies. I don't think National Spain is going to win this just because this whole chunk right here is going to be cartless eventually. So I'll get my other slot. And you can start um, staring up sentiment in Brazil right now, but I, I want to get at least, you know, limited conscription it's just so I can get my manpower before that, because if you do decisions, then it w uses up political power. So, I have my re reinforcements up, so I'm going to start building troops. And like right away, that's only five, five divisions, so or six, well five, <laughs> and uh, all my manpower is gone. So that's why I don't exactly start off making any divisions to begin with. Portugal just doesn't have the manpower needed. Now I'll just go straight down to the other research slot, and that this will give us some. Um, factories at least two factories and I usually go to Portuguese artillery which gives me two um, this one has to be later because you need the advanced machine tools but that does give two civilian factories I usually go for that over this one even though this one gives you five um, just for that boost yeah was a 10% construction
So, yeah, Republican Spain is definitely going to win this, I think. Now, I don't usually um, edit my infantry divisions just yet, because they are strong enough to fight the Brazilian forces, which aren't that hard to fight. There's a cartless that took another huge chunk out of nationals. Current is not going to last very long either. Um, put some more factories. I'm going to build these before the actual infrastructure. I got my research slot. Start building my guns. Now, I'm still not going to trade for steel yet, only because I will have steel pretty soon. Probably the fastest um, Republican victory I've seen in a while. Now I'm just going to work my way down and uh, focus tree just to get to develop an angle on maybe Mozambique. So you're going to want to make at least two naval invasions, one of them from uh, at least this area, you could do it up here, uh, and then one down south, you're going to want to do it like right here, which is going to make the enemy fight on um, th three fronts at the same time, and split off their forces. That's what I'm going to bring all the way down here. And this also becomes their capital after um, Sao Paulo falls. And if you go up here, and then that falls, this becomes their capital. So you want to send troops like over that way. Then you're also going to want to research um, this X, the landing craft, which uh, I still have to wait a little bit to start researching that. Um, only because you want at least 10 divisions on each landing force. Oh, Nationalist is making a comeback.
Nah, I still think the Republicans are gonna win. Um, it's just gonna be a lot, drawing out a lot longer now. It's more annoying when the Nationalists win just because um, that usually means that the Axis are gonna take over the world, which um, it's not as fun because by the time you're t done taking over Brazil, pretty much the entire continent of Europe is um, fascist. So there's not much else you can do. It's more fun when the Republicans win and the Allies and the Axis fight and then the Soviets fight, you know. I'm gonna start uh, stirring up mono sentiment. So I'm gonna want to get advanced tools pretty soon, um, only because that will give me that extra boost right there. I'm, all, I'm already doing pretty well in factories too, so this is looking like a good game. Now I'm going to start researching my weapons. Now this, developing both of these give you enough steel uh, for you to last a while for uh, not to have any required steel but once you start building up your factories you're going to want to integrate or um, add infrastructure to your colonies in Africa which is what I'm going to be doing next um, but yeah I usually like to always have um, factories being built while I'm building infrastructure even if it's only a couple factories running on the infrastructure just join the Axis and they're already invading Yugoslavia which could be bad for us meaning that it could be um, Axis heavy game well, especially since Nationalists it looks like they're making a comeback again oh but France is invading Italy Well, that could be it for Axis.
so at this point, I'm just going to do up to here, up to New Industry, and then I'm going to start working on uh, the Brazilian reunification. Hopefully I have enough troops for that invasion. If not, I'll wait it out a little longer, but I might be okay. I usually like, before the invasion, I usually like to have at least um, 10 for each naval invasion and then a full company of uh, 24 divisions. Tell us this is gonna be an interesting game, considering France barely ever ends up invading that Italy like that. And these guys may still be at war by the time I conquer Brazil. I might be able to invade Spain from the bottom. So right here, uh, we can only have 10 divisions in naval um, invasions, so we are going to have to go and research, which I probably should have just done, um, research that extra naval invasion. So I have Albania as France right now, but also at the same time, Slovenia was created, and all that went to Germany, which is weird. At this point, I'm gonna start making um, more industry, just because these infrastructures are almost done. start this at least. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough troops to invade Brazil at this time. So I can't do that yet since uh, I still need to research the extra naval.
Germany still went to war with Poland, even though they're not gonna have Italy, which is interesting. I'm also running really low on manpower, which I can't go too extensive until I'm at war. So, it's kind of going to be the last troops I'm able to create, which is for. This sh should be enough. Yeah, that's what should make it. And they declare war in Romania, that's really interesting. So Spanish war ends, Republicans won. Um, since they're up in the common turn, I might declare war on them after I get Brazil. So it looks like Germany this time completely ignored the Allies and just went through the Balkans, which I've never really seen before. And then, I don't know, I wonder if we have enough time to do Empire. Let's see how much time we have left. I th we might have enough time to do that. Let's do that. So we're probably going to reunify by 1940. I was wrong about that. Just have done ships and I play in that part now, especially with um, uh, getting the unorganized or unorganization or and then a colonial army which gives um, 10%. So Jeremy is at war with the Allies now. Uh, I don't think they're at war with France. But I guess they are. There's just no battles going on. So do we have naval support now? Uh, I'm gonna lower the time just because that um, I'm gonna bring my main army over here just so they're close and ready. I'll split these guys up. Oops. These guys need a little more. And I might have to deploy these guys early so I have more bodies. That works. So 
so that's about all the troops I can get. Um, now I'm gonna start trading steel. Get these guys up. Just a couple days, another week until the war. Uh, deselect this. And I also need my fleet supporting. I want to put the main army right in there, and both the naval invasions will happen in turn. Do that. Put some more work factories. anyways so not that that's gonna help so it looks like our empire of Brazil integritus Brazil is doing okay on its own which is good a lot of the times I lose a lot of that land if you aren't stirring up support this right here. Uh, I usually like to do this instead of marching orders just so they grab up all that land and don't lose their naval base if there happens to be a guy right here. And these guys are going to just defend the main part of Brazil that we have. Right, I'm going to do offensive line all the way up from here. Here, which is that would be their third capital. You really don't have to do much of these um, divisions. They're just mostly there to hold up, protect Rio de Janeiro. These guys are pretty important to the plan. Just gonna pause this here. So grab up that. There shouldn't be any troops down here, but I might bring a couple divisions and hold it. I just want to grab up all the land as I can, at least to this river. on that. I'm gonna get over there, try to get as far as I can. Oh, and we took Sao Paulo, which is really good. So these guys are gonna hold us. Uh, I can't push on this side. Try to cut them off. Which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna 
try to get all the way up north without the bridges since they have no way to find it. So taking some Paulo is really important, I'm actually surprised. I didn't even take that. Antagoras Brazil took that one on their own. Guys retreating. Oh. took it. That was actually the fastest I've ever taken Brazil. Um, anyways, at least you know, um, after this, I'm going to, to restore the kingdom, and we will get Brazil, and Portugal becomes a pirate house. And this is going to be an interesting game to play. Um, yeah. I'll just wait until I... Unify and then I'll end the video. And I think my plans after this are probably to invade Spain since they're in the common turn. Um, Russia, their allies would obviously not be able to help them. I'm basically going to make as many factors as possible in the meantime, just because there's going to be a lot of infrastructure to build in Brazil. It looks like Yugoslavia is actually holding out against the Axis, which is interesting. Uh, I'm surprised France hasn't made a move at all. It's always interesting how Germany leaves this tiny little Poland right here. That's it. 
United Kingdom of Portugal and Brazil for the unification by August 25th, uh, 1940. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do like other videos like this. Thank you.